Welcome back, everyone, to the final installment of Sekiro. And no, this is not the final boss. This is an optional boss. Manus, the father of the abyss, is an optional boss. What can I say? I am just not prepared for this guy. not coming for me. He's coming for me. A what? What? Yeah, you damn right. It was no nothing. Deflected it, fool. What do you say? Oh my god, this guy's crazy. <laughs> All right. Fool. It really is mad. It's just another giant left arm. Okay, basic enough combo, I just have to get used to anything he does. Oof. I don't know, I think this might be a tough fight. Just head bangs. That arm. Fool. Goodness. Look at that face. Why are you just. Uh oh. Fool. I'm actually dealing decent damage. Maybe I should. Oh, I can run away and grapple to him when he does that. Got it. Okay. Alright. I'm learning. Alright, let's get in there. Now this is a simple two-step process. Step one, jump and hit him right in his big ugly face as soon as the fight starts. Step two. Be perfect for the entire rest of the fight. Now how hard could that possibly be, huh? Away. Back. What an easy fight, right? How hard could he possibly be? All he is is Manus, the father of the abyss, except on fire, and of hatred, right? What's the challenge? Do you see a challenge here? Look at all this damage I'm doing. What's the challenge? Come on. This is the part where I stay away because those fireballs are absolutely devastating. That's the attack I prefer. Cool looking, but very easy to avoid. That's the one of my least favorite attacks, because as you can see, I always block it, but it does chip and flame. And that just does insane damage. So they're just insta-wasted gourd, right? Easy. Get stunned. Jeez, come on. Help me out here. Thank god this fire just appears to be for decoration. Oh, that second stop missed me. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I almost didn't react in time. Gotta jump out of the way of that one. I don't know how useful dodging is. Oh, good. So, what do you think? HP or posture? Posture! Would you look at that? Phase 2 time, where he only has a couple of new moves. I wish I could hit him right now. I mean, I can, but I won't do any damage, so I gotta wait. I still have to wait. And we're good. Uh-oh. Good start, good start. Except now it gets even scarier. Mm. If you noticed, just for a second, there was a grapple opportunity there. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Terrifying attack, I hate it. Oh, that probably should have hit me. Anyway, back to the real fight, right? Easy every time. 
Oops, when he jumps away, it's scary. Because he's setting up for something big. In this case, a stupid medium attack that is not a fireball. It's a fireball, is what I fear. The big flame whip, not so much. Boom. Uh oh. Alright. He doesn't even have time to do the big fire sweep. And I got a stun on him too. What a pro. What a hero. What a badass. I deserve that. That attack's actually easy to avoid. But I was too busy wailing on him. And now he's far away again. Scary, but for how long? Not for long. Excuse me while I hit him in the junk. Sorry, buddy. Get away. Not far enough away. That's what I get for being against the wall. That second hit did literally no damage. It's just impact. That's... I can't believe I avoided that. Oh, we're doing this again? One, two, it's easy to avoid if I have room. If I don't, God help me. Five, six, was that all eight? All right, we're fine, I guess. Magically, that didn't hit me. Clearly, because I'm a professional. Nope. And no super attack for you, buddy, sorry. Big slam, not good enough. I'm too close. Successfully avoid this time. What a pro, what a hero. And there's the stun, which I don't get to capitalize on much. That's the easily deflectable move, which I didn't capitalize on, but it's fine. Yeah, I definitely prefer being out in the cold with this guy. Oh, I almost got him. Not quite, though. Almost forgot to jump away from that fourth one. And phase three, ladies and gentlemen. Now, excuse me while I get the hell away, because this is actually very scary. The range. Now, here's something I don't do often while he looks his scariest. I will power up my attack and wait until you see what comes next. So, power up, right? Easy. And now... Again. Got this done. Again. This is my last chance. So. A stun, but it's not enough. So what do you think? HP or stun? I can res once. In fact, I'm not sure if this works. Okay, it opens up my res again, thank god. Because that wasn't a moment too soon, was it? See, this is what I... Oh! What I don't like when I run out of juice. Grapple. I worked that time. Get away. Come back. It's all right. Away. Away. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All right, we're good. It's fine. It's actually fine. Oh, this is good. <sighs> Why does it always come down to the last moment? Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Demon of Hatred. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
How did he know who I was? Why was his left arm crazy? Because that was the sculptor. The one-armed demon prowled the battlefield, consumed by flames of deepest resentment. Remember, the sculptor said whenever he carved his Buddha, he just felt some hatred in it. And a big reason to beat him, Lapis Lazuli. Two of them, the last two in the game. That's it. And I unlocked a new path for the Gauntlet of Strength. What does that imply? That this guy's the final boss? Because that sucks. I don't want to do that. I really don't. I don't think I have much need for the axe, but I'm just used to having it open, so it's fine. Sparking axe. Ooh. Hey. I got him. This is the big battlefield where we fought the horsemen. I guess there's an idol I can go get, right? I'll grab the thing on the stairs, too. Why not? Oh, lump of grave wax. Yes, please. And actually, you know what? Remember her? Why are you going out? You suck. You shouldn't be doing this. Oh, you're still alive. You know, don't you? You know who the one-armed demon was before. No. Hmm. I see. It might be better that way. What a fate. To be set ablaze in the fires of hatred and suffer eternally as a demon. You put an end to his misery. That's all it was. Fair enough. Dragon's Blood Droplet. Alright, now let's go ahead and get an idol that I don't think I particularly need. But it'll feel good to unlock anyway. That was some fight. That took me a couple of hours of tries. But it was one of those strange fights where I wasn't really mad when I lost, like I was with the owl. Oh, that fight made me furious, but this one was just more like, well, he hits really hard, what do you want? What's my skill point? Yeah, that didn't even fill up a full thing. Enhance attack, I can do that. Hate demon. A man who failed to become Shura, instead became a vessel for the flames of hatred. As fate would have it, he was bound stubbornly to this world. It wasn't until he became a demon that he was finally able to depart for the next. And except for the final boss, that's as good as my attack's gonna be. Unless I want to start grinding for skill points. Okay. Let's teleport over to... Is it the Underbridge Valley? Do I even want that? I don't think this is going to be the best way to get to the uh, the final boss, but I can show you. Even before I killed the Hatred Demon, the Sculptor is just not here. However, the game's not going to cheat me. I can do my own upgrade, can't I? So at this point, I can afford anything. Oh, I don't have enough Grave Wax for Sacred Flame. Whatever, I'll get one of those next playthrough. Oof. I'll need a few. I could easily grind him off of nobles, it's fine. So, here's the big question. Sabimaro, Axe, or Sacred Flame? I guess I'll go for Axe, because why not? Boom, there's my cash, did it. Don't have to talk to him or anything. So, Lazulite, Axe. The sound creates a powerful reverberation, capable of dispelling enemy illusions. Two left in the game. I have one Lapis Lazuli, and I need, well, four, five total. Which means I need four more, which means I need every Lapis Lazuli available in New Game Plus, except, thank god, for Hatred Demon. So I'll have to get the three off of the carp merchant, two buying, one for killing the great carp and getting a scale from him for a thank you, and the other for killing that one Shichimin warrior, which should not be a nightmare. 
feels good to have accomplished that. But if the dilapidated temple is no good for me, then what is? Maybe I do want to go back to the underpass. Or maybe just the front of the castle. No, the outskirts has to be better. Castle gate is honestly tempting. Oh, that was by the, the fight. Let's do the stairway. And just for fun, let's have a quick listen. Damn. You know what? I think I like this. Back to the shuriken, but... I think I like that quite a bit. Well, I went over to the Ashina Reservoir, and I'm going to see if I can't make a quick escape. This could be more difficult than I thought. I want to go over there. Let's see if I can do just that. I don't think I'm going to get chased to this point. There's a glowy, but I am past the point of caring about that. That is what I care about. Forget the glowy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I didn't unlock every single idol in the second castle trip, but this is the last idol I need in the game. Near Secret Passage. And so we can begin. In we go. There's the key. There's the passage. And we can go back to where it all began. Shinobi of the Divine Air, we meet again. Is it the Black Blade? Behold, the second mortal blade. Genichiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon's heritage. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. It's all right. One last time. Yes. Let's finish this. The stakes are high because he could actually kill me now. I will restore Ashina to glory. What the? Oh, okay. Mortal draw. I'll take the death for that. Alright, we'll start by punishing the mortal draw. Again, with the double Ichimonji. Oh, that was a close one. No arrows. Because he stone locked, or he broke my posture. Uh, Alright, I guess the jumping just didn't work, it's fine. I guess I'll rest for posture. There we 
There it is. It's over. Is that a Bloodborne reference? <laughs> Oof, brutal. <laughs> what? Pitiful grandchild. This was your last one. No way. To see Ashina return from the great beyond. Oh no. They must destroy you. Young Ishin from the opening cutscene. Oh, guess I'll die. Oh, this is actually terrifying. <laughs> oh boy. Don't worry, I got this. What the, the I was trying to deflect even in the air. I'll take the death. I will restore Alright, let's make this rote. Counter the mortal draw. And then win a posture fight. Easy every time, right? He just stands there. I could probably deflect through the whole combo, but that does a lot of posture damage to me. And I don't really check before the deflection war starts to see if... To see if, um... At full, so I don't go for it. Oh, I didn't land on him. This is going really well. Flawless first fight. What do you think? Now for the second fight. Easy every time, right? Watch. Hmm, missed both deflections. Pretty bad. Whammo. Oops. That was just sloppy on my part. I'm actually kind of glad he broke my posture, though, because now it's fixed. When the posture breaks, it's fixed. A little scary when he breaks out the Ichimonji without my setting it up. But we're good. That kick was setting up for another Ichimonji. Okay, now the fight gets hard. Don't worry, that didn't hurt. But this will. Every part of this will. I deserve that. I pressed the wrong button. R1 instead of R2. Are you kidding me? Okay. Don't worry, it's fine. Anyway, watch how e easy this fight is. Oh my goodness, so easy. Also, he has a gun. And you really gotta keep up the pressure because he recovers his posture quickly. You can see he gains it quickly, but he loses it quickly. Oops, I should have just moved. But we're good, actually.
Easy every time. Very scary fight, let me tell you. I can barely even hurt the guy. So it's all about posture, I guess. This is good. I probably could have just moved out of the way of that one. Yep, because now I have no posture. Now I'm good. Oh, I thought I could stagger him out of the air. That would have been amazing. Oh my goodness. I've only used a gourd once. Although I'm totally going to do it again. See? I think I ate you in the air, which was stupid, but it worked. The reflexes, baby. Please? Good. Oh, that's bad, but we're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, I could still res. Everything's fine, I told you. Oh, I missed him, but that's okay. One moment, please. Oh, Jinza's not he's right going. Behold! Alright. We're fine. Luck. Oh, I got shocked. All right, but that's okay. Bam, sit down. It's all right. Oh my god, I beat the game. Wait. All bosses. At his peak, Ishinashina devoted himself to deadly conflict in pursuit of strength. A single-minded killing machine of a man. Dragon Flash. Performs a high-speed cut from a sheathed stance. Charged to send out shockwaves. Cause spirit emblems. In his younger years, Ishin was a devil with a sword spending his days in pursuit of life-or-death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. I've unlocked the new gauntlet. Alright, whatever, man. And that's probably where it ends. And here we are. Kneel before the Divine Heir. And now I have my three possible endings. I'll do the basic one. I'll give the Divine Dragon tears. I am at your side. Take 
the dragon tears. Sworn Shinobi, now. Sever these ties of immortality. Oh, no kidding. Appropriately enough, we had the prosthetic arm, now we're the sculptor. I think it is best that you have this. No doubt the day will come. When a shinobi arrives, seeking strength. <laughs> Immortality has been severed, but the cycle continues. And there it is. The Immortal Severance Ending. And now we have another opportunity. Give dragons tears and ever blossom. Take the dragon tears. Ah, but we're not telling him about the Ever Blossom, are we? So you're leaving? Yes. I too will live for every moment. And then I will pass on. Just as my shinobi did for me. Lady Emma, I owe much to you as well.
and that is the purification ending. A bit bittersweet because we died. But we got to save our lord. And now for what may be the best ending. Dragon Tears and Frozen Tears. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. I like how it's the same scene, but the dust is a different color each time. leave this place, my lord. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Everyone, it is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. Let us depart to the west. To the birthplace of the Divine Dragon. To Lordran. I mean, Verdite? Which Seath are we talking about here? Maybe this universe is Seath, who knows? But there you are, the dragon's homecoming ending. The last of the endings. There we have it. Incredible. Well, here we are in New Game Plus Plus, but this time I'll actually go ahead and let Kuro's dialogue play out when I am given the opportunity to return his charm. Were you gravely injured? After Do you not? I... Hmm. No, right now. As you... There's this lord. E I ask, once you signal me, you know, I will... Hmm. Wolf, do you have something for me? Oh, that's really all it is. But this time I will give it to him to hear what he says. This is for you, my lord. It's from that time. So you notice then. I see. I'd like to ask that you keep this for me, my lord. But this charm has protected you all this time. It's held your suffering at bay. I do not wish for you to suffer any more than you already have. That is why I ask you to keep it in your possession. And this time I will. I see. I will keep it for a while longer. Yes, please do so. Knowing that you possess it is a comfort. That's all it is. Instead of giving it to him and then getting it back at the sculptor, it prevents me from taking chip damage when I block. Like the game isn't tough enough already. Here we are at the first idol of the game. Let's go ahead and enhance our attack power for the last boss. One who returns from the great beyond does so at the peak of their prosperity. 
Ishin coveted strength and all manner of techniques throughout his mortal struggle. He wished for war until his final hour, and that is precisely what he got. And now that we have reached this level and seen every memory, the only stuff left to see at this point is what would happen if I complete Taro's quest differently, or if I do the abandoned dungeon quest, I lead somebody to that place and see what happens. Not to mention, complete my skills and prosthetic. Speaking of skills, we may as well take a look at that one new one we got. I'm curious as to what this looks like. Dragon Flash. Can I do it twice? I can, as a matter of fact. And it didn't even cost me extra to do it. That's pretty cool. Now to play all the way through the game until I get that Lapis Lazuli. Well here we are in front of Aniyama. The only reason I'm showing this again is so we can get an amusing little bit of kind of joke text. We could ask him about that night. It's fine. I'll pay him the 10 sen, which is nothing at this point. Okay, purchase more information. Shinobi tools. Right, the flame vent. Okay, we already got this in a first playthrough. I have one. I'll tell you this. What? I said I already have one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> that one's on me. <laughs> Here's some oil, I guess. I don't know. That's just amusing to me. Well, here we are in the abandoned dungeon, near the bottomless hole. And here's Jinzeman, he's still looking for that music. Well, we can go ahead and chat him up. I must follow it. That melody, I am sure it calls me. How might I pursue it? Shinobi, what do you think? Now, this is the part where I can lure him to the abandoned dungeon. I could also do this with Kotaro, but I choose not to do it with him because I want to complete his quest this time. And we already know what happens when you complete Jin Zeman's quest. He gives you a unique bundled Jizo, which is actually quite good. It's the same as any other bundled Jizo, but you can only carry one bundled Jizo at a time. But because that counts as a separate item type, it means you can hold two. Because it's one of each type, which is quite useful in really, really scary boss fights. Now that we have that... I don't need him anymore, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna lure him. Try the abandoned dungeon. Dungeon? Well, if the melody is coming from the bottom of this hole, I just might find a way to reach the source from the dungeon. Yes. Yes, the dungeon could be the way. I see. You have my deepest thanks. I feel kinda bad about this. Let's see how that goes. And here is our kindly surgeon. My dear Shinobi, I thank you for dutifully completing your task. At this moment, the person in question is in the surgery facility of the abandoned dungeon. Our trials can now move forward. I'm sure the master will be pleased. I offer this as my thanks. Please, take it. Lump of fat wax. Eh, <sighs> okay. It's about time I embarked for the facility as well. You have performed your role most admirably. My master and I now have work we must complete. Okay. I have completely reset the area. Also, Dare to persuade we the away. You're no stranger to cruelty, I see. You've brought such an earnest samurai to a place such as this. Well, we don't concern ourselves with the living. I must say, 
Someday this will come back to haunt you. <laughs> That's amazing. The game directly calls me terrible for luring Jinzaemon here. I wonder what he would have said if I had lured Kotaro instead, although that's still a cruel thing to do. Where you find it, wherever... But that's not the only reason I came back to this entrance. Here's something new, like an eavesdrop. That's so messed up. I, I really was cruel luring Jinzaemon here. Well, here we are back with Kotaro. Let's see if we can help him out. <laughs> and I have to find the pure white flower. Where could it be? <laughs> there is, of course, the red and white pinwheel, which I can give to him and then send him to the peddler or to the dungeon. But I've already sent someone to the dungeon, so we'll do this. Is this the pure white flower? Oh, oh, that's... Oh, I remember now, everyone. They are children of the rejuvenating waters. And I remember I tried to find a pure white pinwheel. A pinwheel for that child. Hey! Can I ask a favor? What? Could you spirit me away? I don't follow. I know about you. You're a shinobi, right? Those monks say a shinobi can spirit people away, make them disappear as if they were never there. Why do you want that? Well, I'm sure that everyone will be wherever I disappear to. And then I'll get to see them. I'm in charge of looking after the children, after all. And you can do that. All right. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm ready, but also a little frightened. But yes, do it. The children of the rejuvenating waters. That child. He was supposed to be with the divine child and those monkeys. He belongs with them, and I have just the trick for him. Divine abduction. Here you go, buddy. Twice. Don't worry. I did not kill him. He's fine. Well, here I am in the elusive hall, and oh my goodness, it's the guy I spirited away. Um, no, no, that's not true. Well, that guy, I know he looks a little shifty. But, he's a good man. Kotaro? Hmm? Oh, it's you! Well, I'm glad you made it! Uh, look, everyone! Mr. Shinobi is here, too! Ah, oh, children! Greet him properly! <sighs> hmm? Oh, right. Uh, you can't see them, can you? The rejuvenated children? Yes! You can't see them, but they're there! They're adorable kids! Right then. Must give you my thanks. Take this. And this is the completion of his quest. Not only is it a useful item to use, but you could also give this to the divine child when she's sick. A regular persimmon works too, but I don't know, maybe it feels better to use this one. A conspicuously red persimmon at the peak of its ripeness, commonly called a taro persimmon. Greatly increases posture recovery for a time even when attacking or taking damage. The Ash and Ataro troop are practically raised on these fruits, which is why they all know the best time to pick them. Thank you so, so much. There we go. Proper happy ending to his quest. I mean, his time with Anayama actually wasn't bad, even though he was living a white lie, he was doing what he thought was right, but they both died at the end. So, this is a happy ending. He gets to be in the elusive hall with the Divine Child and the four... Let's just call them rejuvenated children. Here I am back in the abandoned dungeon. I've just beaten the 
two apes, the Headless Ape and his girlfriend. And now that I've cleared the Ashina Depths, well, the surgeon looks a bit different. It's not human. Not anymore. <clears throat> oh, my dear Shinobi. What's wrong? It's nothing for you from the master. That is terrifying. Oh, and by the way, if I had gotten the Mibu breathing technique while he was still talking to his master and I went behind the cell, I could just walk right up to them while they're talking. But if I were to talk to them, he would just say, uh, go away. But how scary is that? It's not human anymore. Oh, uh, hi, I have a letter for you. Surgeon stained letter. A tattered, blood-covered note written by Dosaku, the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. At the bottom of the Mibu village pond, you will find a Sakura carp. You will know it from its red eyes, which are said to never rot. I require those red eyes. That's something that I actually found in my playthrough, but I had no use for it because I never sent anyone to the surgeon. But this time, it might be different. Although I'm actually curious. Did that carry over in New Game Plus? We request your assistance once again. I actually don't know if I have that. Oof. No, I'm out of luck. I'm gonna have to actually go get them. Well, alright, I know my mission now. Does he say anything different? The details are in the document. If it could be obtained, we believe it could further improve our treatment. Yeah, I'll bet. Okay, I guess I know what I'm doing next. Alright, here we are in front of the surgeon again, and this time I took the time to get the red carp eyes, which means I had to go swimming. And I just can't find them. Here we go. So remember, a carp that lived in the pond has two red eyes. Carps with eyes... Carps with only eyes that are red cannot become masters. Though they're considered incomplete creatures that lack the ideal number of scales, their eyes are said to be everlasting. The researcher Dojun in the abandoned dungeon wants those eyes to improve his procedure. Let's indulge him. Ah, my dear Shinobi, did you bring what we requested? Yep. Yes. Indeed, you have obtained it. With this, the treatment can be advanced. I'm sure the master will be ecstatic, even if I am not. Ugh. Try as I might, I'm unable to muster the same level of enthusiasm. Dojun, you novice. Mm. Ah, fret not, dear Shinobi. I will perform my duty for the glory of Ashina. Your reward, dear Shinobi. Please accept it with our thanks. Lump of Grave Wax, that's pretty nice. Two. With this, we can advance the treatment further. Master, I'll bring it immediately. Well, let's take a listen. Oh, uh, Master Dosaku. What on earth? What? Surely you don't intend to use that on me. Very astute, my apprentice. You are the next subject. Please, no! As I feared. You have strayed from the path of medicine. Why would you do such a thing? No, Master. The rejuvenating waters have bewitched you. Master, please answer me. Please answer me, Master. Why? Why would you answer me? Answer me, Dosaku! Dosaku! That is creepy. More on that shortly. Well, look who it is. I don't know if you got a good look with how quickly I paused, but that was unfortunately our friend Jinzeemon, who is now a red-eyed zombie, which really sucks, because he's supposed to be a cool guy.
I really need to build up posture damage as much as possible. Good thing this double Uchimonji recovers my posture buff. That one sword strike of his really hurts. Yeah, this fight is genuinely hard. Soon going to be out of this flame fence, unfortunately. Oh, I'm alive for no reason. I lucked out. Still. Nope. Nope. That's all right. As long as he doesn't recover right now. He broke my posture, that's okay. Nope. Oh, finally, this took a bunch of tries. I feel bad, but I killed Jinzaemon. <sighs> Red lump, surprise. Now you know what these things are, but this is a unique description. A round red lump found inside the body of red-eyed Jinzaemon. And then you can consume this to get red eyes. If I had brought Kotaro over, I would have had to fight him too. The funny thing is, remember how I dispelled him with that fan? I could actually have immediately done that, even as an enemy, which is pretty funny. Behold. you answer me? Dosaku. 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 Answer me, master. Okay, things are getting worse. 